Hi everyone, it's Roger here from What's On Disney Plus.com. A quick news update for you guys, all about some movies that potentially could skip cinemas completely. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So last week, Disney announced a massive reshuffle of many of its cinema releases because cinemas are closed around the world and therefore they've had to reshuffle things, pushing things like Black Widow way back into November. And as part of that announcement, they also revealed that Artemis Fowl is going to be coming straight to Disney+. Plus. No release date for that movie has yet been revealed, but that might not be the only one, because recently Bob Iger spoke with um, Byron's, including bringing Frozen 2 and Onward onto Disney+, Plus earlier. But in that same interview, he said, In some cases, we've moved things onto Disney+, Plus faster than we would have. Frozen 2 was one of them, but Onward would be the biggest example. It was in theatres when this happened. We moved it to a pay-per-view period for a couple of weeks where people could buy it and own it, and then we ended up putting it on Disney+. Plus. In terms of movies going directly after Artemis, there may be a few more that we end up putting directly onto Disney+. Plus. For the most part, a lot of the big tentpole Disney films will simply wait for the slots. In some cases, we've announced new ones already, but later on in the calendar. So while he doesn't particularly say which movies this could be, there are a number of ones that could definitely stand out to being possibly moved to Disney Plus first. The big one really is going to be Marvel's New Mutants. This one has already been delayed a number of times and it kind of makes sense. The big problem really for this one is whether or not the contract allows for this because HBO has a deal to bring movies to their platform after it's been released at cinemas and then on home video and... It really depends on whether or not the contract states they have to go through that period because obviously if Disney directs, put it straight onto Disney Plus, it skipped all of that. So I don't know how that's going to work. So New Mutants definitely stands out because it wasn't on that release schedule. However, it depends on really how much longer this issue goes on for because in June we're going to be having Pixar's Soul. Now that one is a big animated movie. They've already lost money on uh, Onward. I don't know whether or not they'll want to hold that one back. Obviously then we've got Mulan in July, they've already pushed that one back, will they do it again? Who knows, that one's a big hit, obviously it's going to be a big thing for China to get that one out. There are a couple of other movies after that, including the one and only Ivan, which is due to hit cinemas in August. Now we've not seen anything about this one, we've not seen any images, we've not seen a trailer, and we are only a few months away and we still know nothing about it. So that one is a potential possibility for Disney Plus because, like I said, Disney have not really shown anything about it. I think that one is very likely. If it was a choice between that and Mulan, I think Mulan is still going to be the one that they're going to shift back again if they needed to. If they go any further than August, then we're looking at The Beatles Get Back. And then after that, we've got other 20th century movies that probably wouldn't necessarily fall in. But I definitely think that the one and only Ivan, which is due out in August, is very highly likely to possibly become a Disney Plus original if this problem continues. And it's not just the fact that people might not be able to go out at that point, it's whether or not people are going to go to the cinema and all of that. So they're really going to have to weigh this one up. I think this is a good possibility that we're going to be seeing something. Bob Iger is kind of teasing it out there, but it's very much going to depend on what happens. You know, maybe by the end of May, things might have calmed down, things might be carrying on the way they were originally planning. But everything pretty much in June and July and August is possible for becoming straight to Disney+. Plus. And like I said, that includes So Mulan and the one and only Ivan. Those three are probably high up on the list. And as I said, I'd probably put New Mutants very high on that list if they can get around that contract issue. But nevertheless, what do you think is going to be happening? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in another video. Laters. Mm -hmm.